North American Motors Officers Association. That's what I'm tied up with. So just a quick vlog. I don't talk about it a lot, but um, we're very tied up with law-abiding biker media stuff, as you know. Full-time paying job. Paying job, I said, the one I do full-time, and then I do lab here on the side, is uh, uh, law enforcement, of course, and a motors officer. I don't talk about that a lot, but I thought it was fitting because we've been very busy lately, and uh, it's something a lot of you out there are interested in, you do ask about now and then. So, NEMOA, North American Motors Officers Association, uh, it is a 501c3 nonprofit, and it's a conference, and it happens yearly. Usually, uh, the guys get, we get to go to it uh, instead of us actually hosting it, which is why we've been so busy lately, um, is because we're actually hosting it this year in our city, and there'll be officers from all over. Basically, what is NAMOA? NAMOA is, it's a way for motorcycle officers from North America to get together, to conference, to network, to train together is the biggest thing. Get a lot of training time. It's a, gonna be a three-day conference. And then, uh, of course, with training, we gotta compete, and there's a big competition and that should be a lot of fun too. But we've been so busy because, like I say, we're hosting it. That brings on a whole set of, of issues and work that we've had to do to make it go off without a hitch. So we've been planning it for like a year, of course. Really started digging in about six months ago, and then, of course, the last couple months, uh, heavy and hard at it. Uh, long days along from our regular uh, jobs, uh, doing the regular thing that we do out there as motorcycle officers and then trying to organize all that. And then of course on my days off, right here with you, law-abiding biker media stuff guys, cranking that stuff out to you. And if you're interested in NAMOA, um, it is a nonprofit. You can donate to it, of course. We uh, run it completely by donations, but uh, it's about to happen. But nonetheless, I will still put a link in the description below if you're interested in hitting up the website and checking it out a little bit more. It's a pretty cool thing. And uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get to uh, get film of it because I'm helping organize it this year. And I'm also competing in it. And so I don't know how much time I'll actually have to get any film uh, or any footage myself. I do have some people coming um, that will hopefully help some friends. And so I don't know, this might be the only time I really talk about it, who knows? And maybe I'll have more time than I think and I'll get some footage and share with you guys later, we'll see. So of course we wanna be good, so uh, you know, and do well. So today, a couple of us, uh, the guys went out and we just did some practicing uh, on a, a weekend day and went down to our course. Of course, we don't run the actual competition course because that's different each year. You get to set it up how you want. Um, very technical courses, guys, if you've ever watched a uh, motorcycle uh, officer's competition. Um, but we rode our courses and, you know, a lot of that stuff's integrated. Um, we set up cones and did drills and all that kind of stuff. We try to do that regularly anyways, and we qualify twice a year, our particular agency. Um, so we try to stay on top of that game, but it definitely was good just to get out right before here. It's a couple days away. The next two days we're going to spend just setting it all up, getting the courses set up, getting the facilities set up. You know, there's some after hour stuff and raffles and uh, dinners and food and all the logistics, uh, all that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah, so I'll be competing. A lot of you ask. Uh, right now I'm riding uh, my department motorcycle is a Harley Davidson. It's a 2013. Of course, they're Electroglides is what we use in our agency. We've got a number of them. We've also integrated uh, and traded out some of the older ones. We do have a couple on the fleet that are the new 2017 Milwaukee 8s. And eventually we'll cycle those out as they get miles on it, but that's what I'm riding right now. And I got it all ready to go. Uh, it's, it's running great and it's tuned great and brakes and clutch is feeling good. So um, that's a good feeling going into it. Know that my bike's uh, running optimally the way I want it and mechanically sound always good to have a good running bike when you're competing for sure. Now in this competition there'll be bikes 
Um, there's officers, I think we have about 125 motors officers signed up, which is really cool to get to meet that many other motors officers. There's a lot of different levels of riding, a lot, a lot of different skills, a lot of different experience, but there's also a lot of different bikes. Um, I think they'll probably be, um, I would imagine Hondas, I'd imagine uh, some BMWs, um, not sure if the, what, what other bikes they'll be, if there's any uh, Kawasaki's or anything like that, but I guess I'll find out. So it's kind of a cool public event too because it's open to our community here. We are, again, hosting it right here uh, in my area. And so there's bleachers and it, like I say, it's open to the public. There's vendors there and some things like that. So it's a really cool public relations type event for people from the community to come and watch motors officers and uh, just uh, chat, chat with the community. I'm gonna be very tired. Uh, I handed it over to Lurch and Big Daddy. They're really gonna be running Law Abiding Biker Media for the next week. I'm going to be working probably uh, 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m., probably till 10, 11 at night just because of the amount of responsibility that we have as the host of it. So not gonna be a lot of sleep for me um, and not a lot of time to do lab stuff, but don't worry. Uh, we're still coming out with the content for you guys and I got the guys behind the scenes working on it. And we've got some really good stuff that we already pre-recorded anyways that we'll be uh, pumping out to you guys. And if I can gather enough footage, which I don't know if I will be able to just due to time, uh, I would like to, we'll see, maybe put together a video uh, of the Namoa event, uh, the competition and training. Um, maybe they can embed it on the website, but we'll see. It just all depend on how much footage the other guys and I can grab if there's enough to put together. I hope that gives you a little insight into what's been going on, what's going on behind the scenes here, and a little bit about my full-time paying job. And I am very excited to uh, be a part of this, to the, what, a, what a great cause. Um, you know, it's very dangerous out there what we do as police officers, let alone riding a motorcycle on top of it. So we want to be at our best and train hard and compete hard and uh, uh, just really be solid riders. Um, that all goes into our personal safety. So it's a great thing to be a part of, a great thing to meet officers, you know, from all over, see the different bikes, see the different skill levels and just chat and uh, uh, just get some face time with other officers. And yes, I know I'm very lucky. I get to ride for a living. I get to ride a Harley Davidson for a living. Yes, and then on my days off, I get to do law-abiding biker media and film and ride more. It's a lot of work though. There you go, guys. I gotta roll. I gotta get up early in the morning. I gotta work a little bit in the studio. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to this channel so you're notified when we come out with new free videos because we have a ton in the works for you guys. Like it, thumbs up, share it with all your biker friends. I hope you're well, and I definitely hope you are getting some riding in. All right, guys, I said I'm done. Seriously, I gotta go.